All right, I think I'm up to episode three. I'm uh, checking on my box style hive that I have here in Grantsville City. Uh, on uh, one of my friend's farm. He's uh, got some apple trees here and he wanted uh, pollinated. And so I've just had this hive here for about a year now. See here, some dead bees out in front of the hive. Yeah, that's what I expect. You can see them uh, pulling out the dead bees and the bits of wax and stuff. Sun shining, the dark colored boxes are absorbing the sunlight, they're warming up and they're coming out of hibernation. This hive is a little bit more likely to st uh, sting me when I open it because I haven't been opening them up quite as often. But I'm usually pretty okay. I'll take that rock off. Try this lid. There we go. They are, they're definitely out of hibernation. Okay, girls. I'm not here to hurt you. <laughs> you can see uh, this here, some grease patties, which is uh, basically the same stuff that you'd uh, use for filling in an uh, Oreo cookie. It's uh, powdered sugar and Crisco. Just a little bit of uh, peppermint oil. And that helps with the varroa mites throughout the winter. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely not appreciating me being here. Alright, I'm putting them back on. Be trying to sting me right in here. Let me see. You know, when they start trying to sting you, just kind of walk away from the hive for a little while. There we go. <laughs> You're coming down. This is a little bit more of an aggressive hive. But yeah, it's a three stories high here. Clear full of bees. Now this is about the uh, internal size that I've got for those those hives that I've been building. And they'll be about this big on the inside except instead of straight up and down it'll be out sideways. It's all right little one. Yeah, the more you visit the hive, the more they recognize you and the less likely you're going to get stung. If I would have freaked out more, I probably would have got stung quite a few times. As it is, I just took a few stings to my shirt. <laughs> All right, so yeah, they're coming along good. That's what I needed to check on. They got plenty of food. This this whole upper box has got food in it. Clear full of honey. 
Look at this bee trying to... <laughs> looking for a place to sting. I notice I usually get stung most right near my watch. So, I think the dark colored jewelry, it resembles an eye. and They, they try to go for your eye. <laughs> Won't bother him too much while it's still cold. <laughs> in my uh, first episode, I, I forgot to mention that uh, during the winter they cluster into a tight ball about, uh, about roughly this big. They cluster into a ball and then they shiver all winter, slowly moving throughout the hive, eating honey as they go. No, that's what I mean by hibernation. They don't actually sleep. They just kind of all huddle together to keep warm. All right, I'm not going to bother these guys too much. Just wanted to make sure that they're still alive and had honey. And they do. <laughs> This hive I'm going to take and I'm going to I'm going to split it just like the other hive. This one I might even be able to make three new hives out of. All right. I put the rock back on and uh, straighten the lid if I can. You know, I'll just put the rock back on and Leave them alone for another little while till it gets warmer. <laughs> Bring my sugar water bottle so they know that I'm not hurting them. Alright, end of third episode I guess.